Welcome back everyone. Joe here, Joe's Outdoor Experience. So today, my Uncle John and I, we have the Coleman Outfitter 550 here. We also have my Mahindra 1626 running in the background. We have the goats screaming because they want to come out, but they're not going to come out as of this moment. This is a, uh, a dead standing tree. Uh, at least it looks like it is, but either or, it's, it's leaning. It's got a pretty bad lean, as you guys can see already. It's uprooting down here. So we could kind of wiggle it and push it. But uh, there's a few branches up top that it's hooked up to. So what we're going to do is I'm going to stand on the back of this Coleman Outfitter 550. I'm going to get a rope as high up as I can on there, which is probably only going to be about 10 feet. If that, I'm six foot. That's probably four feet off the ground. Do easy math. Try to get it as high up. I have my tractor running. I'm going to run a 100 foot rope to the back of my tractor and see if I can just gently pull it over with my Uncle John filming and all of us in a safe direction and see how that goes. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Joe. We're on my parents' six acre property here in North Carolina. If you haven't subscribed, we'd love to have you back. Please hit that subscribe button. And right here, there's a like button. If you could just hit that like button, it doesn't cost nothing. It looks like one of these, just not as tan and ashy. And uh, it really helps out the channel tremendously. So thank you guys very much and stick around. All right. So I'm just gonna try to get this rope as high up as I can, which is probably about 10 foot now. I'm gonna just, I don't know what these knots are called. I'm just gonna make a, a loop. And then... Oh, it was already a loop. No point of walking it. Mind if I hand this to you? Yep. And keep it, keep pressure on it. Give me on this side. Yeah. I think we could, we'll get set up and go back to it. Just because I don't want us underneath this because it's kind of wobbly. Yeah. That's for you. You got it? Yep. It's moving. Yeah. Here it comes. Here it comes. That was. Yeah, I think I went to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> that was that came down yeah. faster than what I thought, Joey. Yeah, whoop down. So how big? How big do you think that was? About fifty feet. Uh, we could try to walk around. So we'll go yards, right? All right. One, two, three, four. About. 15 yards, 15, so 30 feet. 30 feet, oh man. I can't, but if you want to, I can't believe how that came down by you just tugging on it. So this is the part that was already kind of coming what? off the ground like you saw prior. Yeah. This right here is I guess where it started getting diseased in this area where the bark was falling off, right in here. I don't know if that's the culprit. I don't know what that thing is. Look at that thing. Hold on. Oh, you see that thing? I don't know what that is. Probably killed the tree. I know. So, I mean, it was completely dead, at least up to here. And it came down easy. There's no other parts up there. Yeah, but I just can't believe you just, but you pulling on it, yeah, it came down. We, we tracked it. So I'm gonna do is, it's not gonna be a crazy cleanup. I'm just gonna go ahead, take this piece here uh, and just, just move it to this stack of logs, clean that stuff up, move it to the side. What we're going to do in the next few days, we're going to take the backhoe attachment. I've only set it up once since I've had the tractor. I would like to go set that up, try to get a few hours under my belt with that and take down a few of these piles here and, and level it out and bring some dirt and move it around. Level this area here and kind of use it. What I definitely, what I definitely have to do is I have to go ahead and move this wood pile. That will be for another cool day. Um, I have to move it to the side. I got to get that side prepped. I have a few other little projects to go, but this is a nice, short, easy video. I'm gonna leave this here. Uh, I might fire up the Ryobi chainsaw, 
cut this into a reasonable size and then go from there but again thank you guys very much if you can hit that like button on the bottom there that would really help out the channel tremendously thank you to all the new subscribers and uh if you're not subscribed we'd love to have you back again my name's joe behind the cameras my uncle john and uh we're here in north carolina thank you everyone So this is a question to you pro guys, uh, Clint, Up There Arborist, Ground Pounder, all the guys I follow. This, I believe this is the lubrication port. This was, um, this was clogged. I just took it out. And this is where the lubricant comes out of the saw. So I, I noticed when I started up on John Matoke and off the camera, I was waiting to see if there was a lot of oil coming out because I know I, I opened up that port on the bottom. Uh, it, wasn't, it didn't seem like it was, it was coming out like a lot. So I went in here. I checked the bar, this was clogged, and that was not clogged here, but this was. So is that the part, I know it sounds silly, I'm not a pro guy, but is that the part here that helps lubricate, or is this just an open channel that uh, is just, it doesn't matter if it's open or not? If you guys don't mind, uh, let us know, and uh, if everyone out there, who, who, if you want, I'll tag those three guys down below, check out their channels. Okay. This, yeah, perfect. I'm gonna just take that and somehow it's gonna magically disappear. So whenever you're ready. It's I'm hitting it. I got you. Alright, good. Making sure there's no like bark snakes yeah. or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, look at all this fungus on here. Yeah, I was looking at that before. I wonder if that's like a kind of like a blight or something. I don't know. That's here. Last little bit. It's like root rot. I still can't believe you pulled that down with just a rope. Like, I mean, I'm unbelievably strong. Not to toot my own horn, but this, this is like completely dead. I don't know. We'll donate it to the side here. What do you think? We should come back at a later date, cut it here. Cut it there. It? Yep. All right, well. That's it, then I'll be here for today. We'll clean up. Thank you all again. I hope you all have a great weekend. And uh, thank you for sticking around. And like I said, if you could hit that like button, if you're not subscribed, we'd love to have you back. I'm Joe, that's Uncle John, and we'll see you again on the next one. Bye.